everyone. This is Thomas Kincaid, the painter of light. This is my art library, and surrounding me are thousands upon thousands of volumes that document the work of the great painters of the past. Now, I have spent countless hours in here with my magnifying glass studying the paintings of my heroes, the great masters of the past, many of which are completely obscure today. We find as you look through the history of art that there has been the emergence of a tradition of passing down the flame of inspiration and techniques and craft from one generation to the next. I find that amazing and I'm excited to participate in the process. In fact, from day one in my publishing career, I have been involved in helping to nurture the next generation of artists. I suppose it all began with my use of the apprentice system. Our apprentice artists do finish work on every Thomas Kincaid canvas print. Now, these paintings are time consuming to work on and yet these artists are diligent uh, with specialized paint mixing and paint drying techniques that allow them to hand finish each work uh, one by one. But I suppose the ultimate expression of the apprentice system or the master artist, so to speak, passing on his ideas and techniques is in the development of a studio. Now if you look back over the history of art, the atelier system or the studio system was foundational to the development of Western art. The great Leonardo da Vinci, perhaps the greatest genius of all time, apprenticed under a little-known painter by the name of Verrocchio and Leonardo was said to have painted an entire figure in an altarpiece from the Verrocchio studio. What fascinates me personally about this entire process of the apprentice and master system is that in the passing on of techniques and taking artists under your wing, you have the chance to actually get new inspiration and new excitement for your own work. But beyond that, I'm very excited about Thomas Kincaid Studios, which is our newly formulated system of working with other artists. Uh, now through the years we have worked with so many talented people who've helped expand my creative process. Of course the apprentices who work on my paintings and do the final highlighting. But we've also had designers and graphic artists who've worked with us in the development of our products and sculptors and creative craftspeople who work to create the three-dimensional works based upon my paintings. But now the next step for us, which I am so excited about, is working with upcoming and highly talented artists who desire to work in styles that would complement my own so that we can create new works of the imagination and spread light even more. Well, you don't have to be an art expert to realize that a lot goes on behind the scenes in the creation of a work of art. It's like a movie. You direct the lighting, you get your cast of characters, you assemble the composition, you do the editing, and you finalize it. Uh, in this case, the artist can do all these processes by himself or in collaboration with other talented people as he desires. But there is a fascinating creative dimension to the making of paintings. It starts with memories, with sensations, with sensitivity to the world around you. And somewhere in the process, God infuses his light, his love into that painting, and it can reach out to bless many, many people. This is Thomas Kincaid, thanking you for sharing the light.